the Sangoma, if I'm not wrong, when when now she, because she didn't know what's what? going on. What's so, going oh, on? a client is coming at sure, 2 o'clock sure, in the sure, morning, sure. whatever, cool. When she found out. See, that's what, what uh, Sangomas do, not go to Mikalo at 3 in the morning. <laughs> 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 like poor Madi. Aye. Aye. <laughs> Ah, come on. <laughs> Must be on but call. How? Some come on call. Yay. <laughs> but some almost do party, man, then. Because look, Pelagonia. Man, we are back, back and back. Yeah. Hey man, how I missed you guys, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Right? Yo, it felt like a lifetime. I know. A lifetime. You know, yeah. this, you know this. This every time we'd now record two times a week. You know, it feels like forever if we just don't see each other. Yeah, Ghost yeah, Ladies sure. here, So Penduka is here, Malikant yes. is here, Simpiwe is here, I am here, you are here. Welcome, welcome everybody. Dog, I had a week from hell last what? week. What happened? Hey, what happened? Hey, what happened? Man, what happened? it's a long story. Do you have a drink ready there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a yeah, fucking yeah. long story. I've got a man. drink, I've got my green I'm good. Bro, you, you guys probably won't believe me if I tell you the story. We will. Please. I, well, like, please. it's movies, man. Try my life us. is a movie, bro. Try I know, bro. <laughs> so, it starts because uh, because I needed to get a visa because uh, I'm going to America. Well, I got my first gig in America, by the way. Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Washington, D.C. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, me, I had really given up on traveling, so I don't have a visa, dog. Yes, yes. <laughs> you know, I never thought I was going to travel yeah, ever true. again. Yeah, yeah. These guys always have me. Every time we travel, I, I carry in a lady's bag. <laughs> it doesn't have even a, like luggage. Because yeah. <laughs> I never thought I'd travel ever again or even get gigs, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I needed to go to Swaziland. That was the closest date they could get for me. So I needed to go to Swaziland on Tuesday. So I left on Monday so I can just, you know, get to Swaziland, chill, and then in the morning go to the meeting at yes. the embassy. The interview, yeah. Do my uh, visa thing, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I fly out Monday, everything is cool. Get to Swaziland, yeah. check into the hotel. Within like an hour or two, I get an email. It hmm. says your interview with the embassy has been uh, postponed. Jeez. Oh. It's no longer Tuesday, now it's Wednesday. Oh. I'm like, fucking hell, Wednesday, damn it. So, and now you're stuck? Not really. I could have stayed there until Wednesday, but I decided, you know what, let me come back so we can record the, 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 the Thursday episode yes. oh. on Tuesday. Yes. Um, and then we couldn't record because um, you were sick. Yeah, very sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so that same day on Monday, we drove back. I had a, a, a car. Uh, we drove back to Joburg, got to Joburg at about midnight, whatever, cool, shop. Tuesday chilled, uh, and then we didn't shoot, and then I ended up going to um, Black Coffee's... Uh, yeah, I saw that. Oh. Uh, Grammy thingy. Grammy yes. thingy. I got invited yeah. to that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's Black Coffee. You can't say no to Black know. Coffee. Uh. It's Black Coffee. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm like, All right, cool, I'm in town. Let me go through. As soon as I walked in there, I realized this is why I don't attend industry events. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, I know them. First person I see. Guess who I see? <laughs> Mini <Minis> Lami. <laughs> Sitting right next to Unat. <laughs> On my right, there's Kuli Chan. <laughs> and Lamiz. I look on the left, there's Big Zin and Popstar. I'm like, I'm going there. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's home. That's home. That's family. <laughs> but Big Zin, Popstar family. Yeah. Yes. You, you ran in for a hug. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So eventually I had to say hi. So I had to say hi to Fresh. And Fresh was sitting next to Vinny Da Vinci. So I say hi to Fresh. And then I got to say hi to Vinny Da Vinci. Yeah, 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 yeah. And right next to Vinny Da Vinci, like where you sitting, is Lamiz. Mies and Kulichana. Ooh. Now I can't say hi to all of them and not say hi to them. Mm. Yes, yes. So I go there and say hi to Kulichana because Kulichana is my boy, dog. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, and then Lamise made it awkward, man. She's like, she pulled that whole thing. Why are you telling people that we dated? Oh, okay, that's cool. I mean, you said far worse. You know, you said females can't play. You know, that's nothing. I mean, you know what I mean? You said far worse. So I'm like, yeah, but we did. She's like, I don't remember. I'm like, okay, cool. If you remember, then I clean. Because Kulichana was there. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Because you know how she'd probably be like, I've only been one guy or two guys. Yeah. yeah. So out of respect, because they married, mm. I decided not, let me not entertain. No, no, you got, yeah, yeah. Good. So I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. Good call. And then Kulichana's like, yo, I'm glad that's sorted. <laughs> 
niggas in my hood have been saying, Mac, you smashed your woman. Thank you. <laughs> but I said I never smashed her. Yeah, I never yeah, smashed her. You, you, you always smashed. say you, you dated, said that. but it, it, you didn't get intimate. It yes, didn't last. Yes, you know what yes, I mean? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then that was that. And then I I was chilling the whole time with Vinny Da Vinci outside. We were just drinking, smoking. Then I made black coffee. Fuck, black coffee's a chiller, bro. He remembers every single thing we've said about him on the podcast. You lie. I kid you not. Yeah. And he was wow. telling me like, hey, you guys said this, this, this. We, I think we did an interview with Heavy K. I even forgot about the interview. Yes. And Heavy K said that the album that Black Coffee actually won the Grammy for was Pop. Huh? Oh. Wait, but that was, oh, oh freak, frequent, what, what was it? Was it sub, um, subconscious? Yeah. He said it was Pop. Yeah, so he said during the interview we did with Heavy K, Heavy K said that that album is pop. Okay. Yes, I think I remember something like that. With yeah. The sound uh-huh. having been so foreign yeah. to us as South Africans. Yeah. yeah. And then he's like, you know, he won a Grammy, you know what I mean? Yes. Well, yeah, look at it now. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, those vibes. So we chopped it up, chilled, whatever. So I decided, because oh, cool. I was meant to wow, drive man. back um, at like three in the morning. Yeah. Uh, this is Wednesday morning, right? Yeah. So I decided, okay, at the coffee event, I'm going to get drunk. So okay. when I get in the car, I just pass out until we get to Swaziland. Mm. Dope. Until we drive back. Cool. So we drive back. Uh, we're going to Swaziland now. Yeah, so yeah. this is after the black coffee event. Yes. Dog, I'm passed out. Uh, the, 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 the guys are driving there. And then uh, there, there was a looting. No, not looting. There was a strike or something. There's like protest, four. Though. Yeah, protest. Yeah. Four in the morning, bro. <laughs> by Emma Lathena or something. Jeez, bro. Oh. So these guys, they've, they, they've put tires. There's burning tires. You know how they protest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like they, they, they close up the roads. They yes. burn tires, put bricks and yeah. So the driver asked me, he's like, what must I do? And I'm drunk, dog. I'm like drunk, drunk, drunk. Uh-uh. I'm like, ah, oh, dog, talk to them. They're people. They're humans. Yes. So the guy listens to me. <laughs> He's sober. I'm drunk. He listens to me. He gets out the car. He walks towards these people, right? Oh, my word. And then we can see like kind of like the ringleader. Uh, and then the ringleader's like, in Funan. And then he's like, ah, it's cool, man. Was, 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 was. As he starts getting closer, dog, about 50 people started coming out of nowhere. Ew. With like bricks and fucking... Um, Pangas and shit like that, dog. So the guy's like, ah, oh, hey, but ten, hey, but ten, for nine. Dog, yes. You don't they, talk to those guys. Yeah. Like, you, you, they'll hit your car with bricks. Yes, yeah. yes. Don't yes, do dog. that. Like, you don't pass, you just U-turn. Bro, the guy was so scared. He starts riding back to the car and now it's a, it's a manual. He's trying to put it in reverse. They're trying to uh, smash the car with the bricks. Hey. <laughs> I'm still drunk. <laughs> Dude, it's a move, man. Yeah, it's a move, you know, dog. Was, just a few hours ago, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, nah, and now you fucking yeah. pelted with stones and yeah, shit. Yeah, dog. Those niggas didn't want to hear shit. Because we just of course. we just wanted to go through, man. <coughs> no, you don't do that. Yo, yo, yo. So you eventually, do we had to drive back to Joburg now. Jeez. Another hour and a half and take another route. Ooh. But I'm still passed out. Woke up, got to the embassy at about eight, half past eight in the in morning. Swaziland. In Swaziland. In mm. Swaziland. Uh, when I get to the embassy, I had to go like to the postnate about three or four times because it was uh, do- uh, documentation missing and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but eventually, I couldn't get my visa because I'm supposed to apply for a P visa or an O visa because I'm a performing artist. And okay, whatnot. yeah, yeah. Oh. So I didn't even get the visa, bro. You didn't. All that for nothing. Didn't record for na- for nothing. For nothing, bro. When's your gig? Uh, it's gonna. It was meant to be end of this month. Jeez, now now you're gonna miss it. They're gonna postpone it. But oh. now. Why didn't you use the American embassy in South Africa? There wasn't any available dates. Ah, you should have went around in Botswana. It's like a 40-minute flight. Yeah, so the earliest one they could get. Or the, was, or the closest and earliest one. Was yeah, it was in Swaziland. Yeah. yeah. That is strange, man. So now I'm tired, dog. I'm like, yo, bro, my flight now to go back to Joburg is like 4 o'clock, half past 5. So what about there. the driver now? He, he left, he, he returned. No, 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 the driver, is the, it's the guy from Swaziland. It's oh, guys that made it's Swaziland. a Swati guy. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it's a Swati guy. So they were assisting me. Very nice guy. Bro. Oh, yeah, nice. He's chill as well. Nice. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful. So, so I'm like, he's like, okay, cool. You can crash at my place. Okay. Right? So I go to his place. I got no internet connection, whatever, because I was hotspotting with his phone and he had to leave. Okay. So before I slept at about 12, I text Jason. I'm like, yo, Jason, mm-hmm. please uh, book my flight um, online. Yes. Oh, check yes. in. Yes. Check in for me. Yeah. Oh, yes. oh check like, in, yes. yeah. Check in. Yeah. And then that's the last I spoke to him. So I thought he checked in. We get to the flight. My flight was like, I think, 20 to 6. I got there 20 past 5. And they said the gates are closed. Ish. 
So I missed my flight. Why didn't Jason check in? I don't know, bro. Ah, uh, action Jason. I don't know, bro. So I missed the flight, right? Mm. So I'm like, I fuck, what to do? Okay, I can't reschedule another flight. Let me just drive back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so now we leave the airport. As we're leaving the airport, <laughs> shit, you guys won't believe me, bro. Oh. <laughs> what up, what up, Try bro? us. The car ran out of gas. <laughs> As you leave the airport. Yeah, as we leave the airport, as we're going back to uh, to his house, because I was going to drop them off, take the rental car and drive back to Joburg. Mm. Ran out of gas. So he, for like an hour and a half, they were pushing the car <laughs> to the nearest filling station. <laughs> he doesn't have a fuel gauge thingy. No, because he thought we were going to drop off the car at the airport and that's that. Oh, oh shit. So he didn't anticipate I was going to miss the flight and we're going to have to yeah, drive back. Know, yes. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. So we pushed the car for like an hour. And then eventually, yeah, I drove back to, 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 to Joburg. He minute. doesn't know anyone around who can bring fuel? No, man, friend. like, it's, it's very, like, the land is huge, man. So, like, everything's far apart. Oh, mm. I see. Yeah. yeah. Every, oh, yeah. Oh. So, yeah, that was my week, man. How was oh. yours? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> Way better. Not a movie. <laughs> so, wait, wait. So now, at the Black Coffee event, yeah. right? So yeah. no one came to... Said anything to you, Nazi, Mini? Nah, no nah, nah, nah. I only spoke to like Master G, uh, Kanyani. <laughs> oh, Kanyani. Kanyani was there. Oh, and was what he did there? he say? And what did he nah, say? No, he's a chill. He's like, he loves what we're doing. Oh, okay. He thinks it's great, but he'll never come because he's too honest. Oh, oh. oh that's oh. beautiful, man. Yeah. One but, of those vibes. You know, like what Euphonic said? Yeah. What did he say? He's too honest for his own good. Ah, but. Yeah. What are we? We need to be honest, though, as people, right? I mean, mm. That's, mm. I mean, it's good to be honest. Yeah, Greg Maloka was there as well. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. He's yeah. probably a chiller. Yeah, it was just Bali's actually. Come yeah, to think about it. Yeah. Ah. Damn. And that's Dope. it. Mm. Oh man, beautiful. But Swaziland's beautiful, dog. No, it For is. Real. Yo, it is. yo, it's beautiful. It's like SA, but cleaner. Mm. Like it's very clean. It's like Mpumalanga vibes. Yeah, I mean, like Botswana right vibes. Mpumalanga, Mpumalanga. Okay. Botswana, Botswana vibes. Okay. Like even the crime, there's like zero. There's no crime. Like you can sleep without your, without locking your house. That's so weird, and bro. And they're like a border away from like Yeesh. the worst crime place. So yeah. in Durban, yeah. we, we remember we with a gig in Durban, right? And one of the people that like was getting in their cars yeah. got their phone snatched. Yeesh. Weirdest thing ever. Oh yeah, <laughs> I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I thought it was a Joburg thing. Like, no, it's just a South African thing. Yeah, no, everywhere like, in South Africa. Literally, they're like, yo, I'm going to go to the bonus snatch. iPhone Pro Max 13. Oh. Gone. Got in the car. <laughs> I try to run, and people are like, yo, hey, set to sol. And this is Durban, dude. You don't, you don't do that. Like, yo, you know? I'm like, Whoa. Then, yes, I was like, okay, let me not be a hero. Yeah. It's crazy, man. No, but it's beautiful. It's very laid back. There's about a million people, so everybody knows each other there, so it's hard to cheat. Yeah, it's almost like Botswana. Yeah, looked like two million people there. Mm. Damn. You know what I didn't know, bro? Uncle Waffles is from Swaziland. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. Well, she's pretty. Yeah, Swaz Swaziland holds it down. Yeah. yeah. Pretty, pretty, you know? Wow. Beautiful. I didn't know Uncle Waffles was uh, Sw Swati. I didn't know too. Yeah. Wow, I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> and also that the king is crazy, man. Hey, because like what he does is that if you start a company and it's booming, so let's say you start farming, you're farming apples, <coughs> and he starts booming, he comes to you, he's like, give me 70%. <gasps> if you don't, then business shuts down. Mm. It does that with any business that's popping. So even niggas there that have money, they have to low, uh, lay low. Like they don't show that they have money. Because once they show, Ooh, it's like, hey, hey, <laughs> 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 yeah, but, but that's a nice problem to have. You, so there's no flossing there. There's no popping bottles. Nah, they only yes. pop bottles when they come to Joe Yeah. 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 Ah. <laughs> yeah. That's a strange way. Because I mean, then you're going to stifle entrepreneurship in your country. Because yeah. you know, people want to start businesses. Exactly. You know? And apparently his mood is so strong. When you go see him, you you can't see him in, you can't look him in the eye. Nah, bullshit. I kid you not, bro. Bullshit. They say when you go see him, you have to crawl. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you have to. Not that the Muti just cripples you and you start crawling. No, right? no, I asked the guy, I'm like, why the fuck would I crawl if I'm seeing the king? Because yes. I'm like, I want to meet the king. Yes. He's like, yeah, but you're going to have to crawl. You won't, can't see him in the eye. I'm like, why? He's like, no, because his Muti is like that powerful. Wait, so if I'm walking towards him, yeah. will I automatically start now crawling? crawling? Yeah. Get on all fours? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Buddy, you can feel he's in the room when he's not in the room. Yeah. That type of vibe. He's, I get the people who can feel their presence. Footy, maybe sometimes you've seen that because maybe Twilight has got his things. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yes. But you can look him in the eye. Nah, but you can't. He's not Medusa. You, you know, you know what I like? But if the people are saying that, who are we to deny it? Yeah? Yeah. If the Swati people are saying, hey, this is what, this is what's up. Aye. I'm like, hey, this nah, king on. is wild. We got to meet him, dog. Yeah. Yo. And there's a lot of chillers there, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Got a lot yeah, of I, don't, yeah. I remember when this, the thing was happening, the protests and that violent thingy, but a lot of like Swati chillers reached out. You remember, we spoke to one even. Mm. Wow, man. And you, what did you get up to? I was sick. I've been in bed, you know. Meds, literally, like the whole week. Mm. I've just been in bed, sick, taking care of the flu. Did you go to the doctor this time? Um, yes, I did. <laughs> Went to the doctor, I got my flu, my meds there. I take my meds before I play, before I gig, yeah. But literally, I've just you... been in bed, hey? So what, what, are we, what do you have? Flu? It's just, is it common flu or...? It's common flu. It's just oh, the flu. Shame. You know the weather. It's just the yeah. flu. And then yeah. on, my, on my way back to Joburg, I, I run across this guy at the border, the guy that check in your passports and whatever. Okay. So, like, I'm tired, dog. I'm yeah. knackered. I just want to get back home. This guy's got my passport. He's like, hey, Mekchi, ask me one of those questions you'd ask in an interview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I pretend oh, like I didn't hear him. I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, don't no, ask me, ask me. I'm like, dog, I just want to get back to Joburg, man. Can you just take my passport, dog? <laughs> You know one of those, tell me a joke. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I was at the doctor, not this time. Yeah. Like, I think I've told the story. Yeah. The lady was like, hit me with a punk. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I've got stomach cramps. I'm really sick, you know? <laughs> nah, I want a pun. Get the meds, but only if you give me a pun, you're going to get these fucking meds. <laughs> I'm like, yo, guys, I know. I know what you mean, bro. Yeah. You just some body count or something, you know? You know what I mean, dude? Yeah. That's wild, man. Nah, chill is anyway, the uh, there's so much to celebrate. Shout out to Luiso from Idols. Uh, he was performing at David Beckham's son's wedding. Yeah. In Ooh, Brooklyn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the firstborn. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, Shout yeah. out to Luiso, man. How did he get that gig? How did he get a gig? I like myself that? the same question. How did he get that? Because Luiso's huge. Like on YouTube, he's huge. Like huh? uh-huh. he, for me, performs Adele's song. Oh, yeah. Go yes. easy on me. Better than Adele. Uh-huh. For me. He kills it better than Adele. Like he's huge. Uh-huh. Like his music is just huge online. He's like. Somewhat of an online sensation as well. Yes. It's huge online. So I think those guys are just fans. Maybe the lady is, is the wife of uh, Brooklyn Beckham. It's probably a fan. Yeah. Which season was he on? I don't know, bro. It's idols, man. Yeah, it's just one of them. Like you one, know, of the just, one of the seasons. <laughs> I wanted to know like, who was, won that season. Eh? I wanted to know who won the season that he was on. Oh, we never really. The people who really win. Never really. Do Blow anything, up. yeah. Actually, yeah. yeah. Like even Umu yeah. Samtande, Tande. He was, he didn't win. Yeah. Did he win? No, Musa Musa. He won. No. He didn't, but he's huge. You know what I mean? So many people. Yeah. Lloyd Kele was big at some point. He didn't win. Oh yes. Lloyd Sele. Yeah, 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 you know, you yeah, played yeah. him a hundred times. <laughs> <laughs> on nine four seven. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he didn't win. You know, I, I don't know, bro, which season, eh? Yeah. I don't know what that person is. She didn't win. But Who? she's Shakina, Shakina. Oh Shakina. Yeah, she yes. didn't win. But look at her. She's flourishing. She's flourishing. Speak about ninety four point seven. Did you see Annel is going on a break for three months? Why? Well, she just uh, decided she's going on a break. Is it oh, not wow. because of Kelly? <laughs> oh, Kelly's in the country, her friend, <laughs> Kelly Rowland. Wow, for real. Yeah. But dude, but she deserves it, man. You know, she's yeah, she's, she's been... dog, like yeah. Let me read that article. I saw an article because it's a radio person. You always on. You just you get like two, three weeks a year, Yo. and you're working like for five, ten yeah. years. She deserves it, man. You know, spends her money. She's the most paid, isn't she? She I be. think she is. An LM daughter is she's taking a step back from Radio Mike <laughs> and she's expected to tour the world for the next few months. Nice. 947 announced on Wednesday that the Breakfast Club show hosts were participating in a dynamic global master classes mm. attributed to her nearly three months absence. Wow. Mm. And then wow. it teased listeners that her leave was similar to a maternity leave seven years ago. Three months leave. That's wow. when you know you're running the station. It's probably, it's, it sounds like it's Anneli FM, this thing, man. <laughs> well, she brings the coins, bro. Yeah, she does. She brings the coins. She does. I and could also, never get leave for two days, bro. Ew. Imagine three months. <laughs> like, bring your medication and be sick here on the mic. Yeah. <laughs> but like, you know, on the radio, that's dangerous because someone can fill in and kill it. Yeah. No one's going to fill in and kill Anneli's shoes, bro. Nobody. For real? Nobody. Is she that good? She's amazing, I know. She's good, one of the best, but... Who do you think Who do you think can fill her shoes? 
There's nobody there, bro. Mm, yeah, yeah, it's bad. Eh? Has... Maybe an unknown. I don't know. Yeah, maybe an unknown person like who's just good at radio. Yeah, doesn't need to be like someone around. No, it can't be an unknown. I guess it has to be someone from the station to fill in for her during the three oh, months. Oh, true, right? Yeah, yeah. Ah, they do. Ah, I, I under MVP. Ayanda Ayanda MVP is quite good mm. I think she can do it I used to like her when she was working with Tools Madala Did Oh Tools was a big brother oh. yeah, 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 yeah 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 They were good. dope man They were doing 12 to 3 uh, on YFM Yeah Fuck loved it man Anyway what else has been going on Speaking of big brother okay. Yeah oh, Like do you know who I met last night Who We heard Mikalo right <laughs> Hey Mikalo So 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 Hey so. guys Mikalo Mikalo <laughs> So, last night was Aya's party, yeah. which was fucking insane. One of a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas had. So, it's the last one. It was insane. Like, while I was playing, a girl removed her bra. And I was like, did you see the girl remove the bra? I'm like, no. How? Really? Like, yeah. It was nuts. Crazy nights, right? And then we go to Mikalo. Mikalo, you know, my man is like, no, don't go. Don't go sit there in the car. I'm like, no, we're going to the people. And then Spew is like, I don't know if you're bouncing. Let's go. <laughs> so yesterday, that was pure is like half your height. <laughs> yes, you know, but you're chat, you're chat, so he's good. And the, last night, funny thing, first time I ever played a Kamun Pela song, Gulungu. I played it at Aya's party. We get to Mikalo. Guess who I see first? Kamun Pela's dad. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Like, oh, I love you guys. Love your show. What a great soul. Like he's an amazing person, right? Then you walk, we walk, and then I go, Kling. Guess who I see? And then she goes, Kling. She sees me. Hmm. Speaking of Big Brother. Mpo Abadimu. Mpo Abadimu. Yo, yo, she gave me one of the best hugs I've had. Wow. Oh, so she knows you. I'm a hugger. I hug. Hey. I'm a hugger, bro. Oh, I'm like, oh, oh. Yeah, I'm going to come through to the show. Yeah. They took my numbers, the managers, because her phone was off. She'll come. She'll probably come. I told her to come through with good vibes. Oh, nice. So she's yeah. she is good looking as she looks on TV. <laughs> She's gorgeous. She's beautiful, bro. Yo. She's a nice person, like a genuine nice person. Yeah. So I met her last night. Mikalo, oh, 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 and she's like, no, I don't want to come on the show. I'm like, no, come through. She's like, no, I'm not. come on, come through. You just got two million from Big Brother. How? Not your big auntie who's a politician. Yeah. So there's nothing to hide. Just come through to the show. You know? And we love her, bro. We love her big time. And yeah. she knows. I think she could feel it. Yeah. So yeah, I think she'll come. Shout out to Drip, man. They're collaborating with DJ Zinze Ooh. and Murder Bongs. They started a new fragrance. Uh, fragrance. Fragrance. No? Yeah, yeah. Finesse. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Beautiful. Hey, the guy was killing a dog. Hey. Bro. Hey. He's into kids' clothes. Is it? Yeah, it's making yeah. what well, Spark spoke about it before. It's yeah. called Republic. Mm -mm. Kitty Republic? Yeah, Kitty's, Kitty's Republic. Republic. That's kids' clothes. Hey, it's, yeah, get uh, um Zara. Zara. <laughs> Zara. <laughs> hey, it's better you forget your French child's name, you know? Like get <laughs> Get Zara's. That's a piece of more flavor, man. Yeah. <laughs> Get Zara's, yeah, man. He's got Kitty's Republic, obviously, yeah. Drip. He's not even running that anymore. Yeah. And now fragrances. The guy was coming for everything. everything. Bro, is Drip making that much money? Yo. I think they are. And Mr. Price bought... Studio 88. Studio 88. 70% of it or something. Uh -huh. And then the guy said, I want the other 30%. Yo! Oh! You're kidding. On Twitter, yeah. It's like, for real? Give me the other 30. I'm like, yo. Where is he getting all this, this money? The shoes, clearly. Hey. That's, that started everything. <laughs> and now I think it's good. I mean, we saw he hangs out with Cesar Gomo, Trevor Noah. So he's probably got some injection of cash from somewhere. He's got probably some angel investors who are mm. like, you're good at doing this. Do it. Go for everything. Like, Didn't he get funding from IDC? Probably. Like, nah. he's almost becoming like an industrialist almost. You know, like, dude, that guy is just amazing, bro. Like, yo. Yeah, Fuck. with the advertising he's doing as well. You the yeah, billboards yeah, yeah. everywhere. Like, bro, everywhere, man. Everywhere. And it won't be one, it'll be like five. a row five. Like. Bro, just on Grayston Drive, dog. <laughs> Do you know how much money that is? That's huge. That's prime advertising Millions. space. Yeah. Prime advertising yeah. space. Fuck, man, I should have asked him more for the Polukwane branch, eh? <laughs> asked him too little, eh? Can you, you ask for sneakers? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Ay, 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 ay. Come on, bro. How tacky, man. Ask for more money. Say, give me two million. How? <laughs> so you see, Elon Musk is trying to buy uh, Twitter. Ooh. Guys, speaking of people with cash, right? Mm. 
40, 40, 43 billion. billion. Yeah. 43 billion. billion. Yeah. Dollars. Billion. Cash. Dollars. Meaning EFT. Yeah. yeah. Manje. Manje. Not in stocks. Not over cash. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Just fathom that. Just listen to yeah. that. Cash. In dollars, guys. This is in dollars. Not even rents. <laughs> In dollars, guys. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's capile. I'm like, it's capile, guys. Capile, it's capile. Like, you are just a company. What is he people. gonna do with it, though? What do you think he's gonna do? I don't think he's gonna control. Because a lot of people are like, yeah, rich people like to do that, you know. Um, control the news, the narrative. You know what I mean? Uh, buy papers and control what they report on. But that's not Elon's style. I mm. mean, this is guy who tweets stupid things. You yeah. know, like I. I I don't know what he wants to do with it, but I feel like it's a good move. Mm-hmm. I know a lot of people are like one person, especially a, a super billionaire, can't have all that power. But I feel like it's a it's a good move. Mm. You know, I feel like it is. Elon is not like a, he he's, he's not a typical suit. You know, mm-hmm. guys in suits who spoil everything, yeah. take good things and spoil it. So I feel like it might be a good thing. Okay, Jeez, man, how the hell does he have so much money? Yeah. Tesla, bro, and. All these other things, you know, you know he's busy. He's he's just he's got a company called um, the Boring Company. Okay. Because they bore t- tunnels, like they're just creating tunnels all over the world. Because hmm. he, I think he wants to create like an underground net, like road, underground roads. Hmm. Yeah. So they're just just drilling as we speak right now. Hmm. What? Yeah, the Boring Company. Google the Boring Company. Hmm. Google it now. The Boring Company. The Boring Company. Yeah. Jeez. The boring company. Hmm. That doesn't sound ne? boring, hey? Eh? It doesn't sound boring at all, though. <laughs> it is a bore. It's a yeah. huge bore. Yeah, the boring company comes mm. up. Yeah. <laughs> he called it the boring company. Yeah, because they're boring, like, literally tunnels, mm. holes, like, bo- all over the world, randomly, to create a network of roads one day. Sure. It's okay, crazy. here we go. Yeah. The Boring Company creates safe, fast to dig, and low cost transportation, utility, and freight tunnels. The mission is to solve traffic, mm. enable rapid point to point transportation, and transform cities. Oh, the future so I think is bright. I would love this guy to own Twitter. Like, I want to see what he's going to do with what it. What is he going to do? Yeah, with it's it, like he's yeah. got an exciting mind. Like, it's Why brilliant. tunnels? To solve the problem of soul destroying traffic, mm. roads must go 3D, which means either flying cars or tunnels are needed. Unlike flying cars, tunnels. Are weatherproof, out of sight, and won't fall on your head. And you don't have Whoa. people coming out out of the bush in Malachi and trying to <laughs> pelt you <laughs> fucking bricks. You know? Oh, they strike you there. Don't start the land, let's take the underground tunnel. Yeah. Simple. Whoa. Who can access that? Fucking incredible guy. So he's trying to alleviate traffic. Literally. And dude, remember what happened when we were in Ghana? Mm. You know what happens when you go to the airport and there's, ooh, the accidents I saw yesterday, guys. Why? Good Friday. Just on the road. Ooh. Crazy. Yeah. You know, the, like accidents. like And traffic also, bro. There's so much traffic. In Ghana, there was a traffic problem. Mm. Wherever we go, there's just a traffic problem. Traffic problem. You know what I mean? This is brilliant. Hey, man, this guy he's is so from another world, man. man. Dude. Yeah. The boring company, I love that. Crazy, right? <laughs> yeah. Mm. So yeah, that's Elon Musk. I'd love for him to actually successfully buy it to it. And let's see what he does with it, man. Shout out to Choop Choop. Did you see he's back? Hey! He's in Chamato. He's in Chamato. Do Choop Choop. Choop Choop. Choop Yeah, well done, man. I saw on my snap, he's filming somewhere. He's back. Ah, he's back. Ah, he's back. Yeah, he's back. I saw he's back. clips. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Nice. Would you be scared if Choop Choop came to you wherever you are and he's got cameras? Oh, bring them on, bro. Yeah? I wouldn't. Yeah. Aye. I'm a, I, I don't do anything shady. Yeah. Oh, oh. I'm a well-behaved oh. guy. Okay. So if he came to Megala last night, you wouldn't run? Nah. <laughs> I was with the chains. We're having fun. You know? We're good. Yeah. Like, but who's most likely to run in the crew? Yeah. All of them. <laughs> hey, hey, Only Neil hey. would be stand, left standing there. Yeah, all of them, Shem. <laughs> I, I, all of them. All of them. Like, Tibla. Nah, Tibla also. He would chill. Ah, t- Tibla must come out of the closet. I've never seen him with a girl. Ah. Tibla rocks. No, Tibla rocks in Pulugwane. Hey, rock. rocking in Pulugwane. Tibla, Tibla rocks. Hey, rock. Tibla rocks, dog. Is, Is he the one that was getting hit? Huh? Is he the one that was getting hit while we were recording? Hey. 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 <laughs> Ellie's in the room today. <laughs> Who was getting hit, Kanti? Hey. I don't even know the story. Who was getting hit? <laughs> Niggas are wild. Yeah. Hey, who was getting hit? Come Tato. to the mic. Tell your story. Who's uh, getting hit? Tell your story, guys. <laughs> who was it? Was it Tato? 
Ah, no, was it you? It was Tato. Tell your story. How do you get hit while we're recording? Please explain that, bro. Tell your story. <laughs> Tell your story, dog. <laughs> How do you do that, dog? It seems like this story is unknown, huh? Uh-huh. In broad daylight, <laughs> dog. <laughs> How are you handling a camera? <laughs> what happens? <laughs> His head sprung. <laughs> <laughs> so are you? You're a man, dog. Anyway, what else is going on, Ghost Lady? <laughs> um, you guys, did you see the tweet by uh, Intabaya said Dubai? Oh, yeah. oh shame. Yeah. Intabaya said Dubai has got a mountain of problems. What hey. do you <laughs> 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 okay, I'll just read the tweet that he's just um, first. Um, Imale Ningi has reached over 12 million streams, yeah. but I'm broke, never got one rent. Oh, oh my goodness, man. not again. Come so on. Inkabi Records responded, right? And we would like to declare that... This is Big Zulu's due, record label. Yes, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All due diligence, agreements, splits, and contracts pertaining to Imale Ningi were handled with the label that Dabayase Dubai is signed to, which is Ambitious Entertainment. Mm. This was done in the early stages of the song being released. So therefore, Big Zulu has fulfilled all his obligations to Intabayase Dubai and his record label. Claims made by Intabayase Dubai pertaining non-payments are not associated with Ingabi Records and Big Zulu. Then we got another statement from Ambitious, right? Mm. Ah. The, um, this was on the 12th of April. Because when I saw that tweet, I'm thinking, ah, Ambitious rocked him. Hey. That's, that's the first thing that comes to my mind. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, another one. Well, if Nkabi says they've, they've uh, paid something over to them. And also, I mean, sorry, you'll continue. Yeah, but yeah, also, yeah. he's registered with Samro, isn't he? Mm. And I mean, I see you can, you, labels can give you whatever, but... As the author, the writer on the music, you must get something from Sambra and from Sampra as well. Wow, well, what's happening with those, you know? Yeah. Okay. What did the statement say? So, okay, they said, Ambitious Entertainment hereby confirms that it was, it has entered into a music agreement with Ingabi Records, which grades which grants Ambitious Entertainment 25% master ownership of the song. Imale Ning by Big Zulu. So wait, so they own 25% yes. of Imale Ning? Yes. Yes. Because he signed under them. Yes. So his split is from that 25%? Yes. Okay. Yes. So right. it actually goes further. And because... Ambitious, re, Ambitious Entertainment received the first royalty statement a year after the song was released from Inkabi Records and a total payment of 9,000... F- okay. 9,000? No, 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 90. 90? 90, 90, 90. 4,000, yeah. Okay. I think this, is, this is the 25%. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, but it's still, man, that's little, man. But, but if the song made like maybe... So it made like probably like half, half almost a half a million. Yeah, twenty five percent would be twenty five like, percent. Twenty five percent of ha- half half a million would be hundred thousand. Yeah, but bro, you can't have the biggest song in the world. I mean, in the country, and take hundred thousand, bro. Bro, that's too little, man. Or oh, half a million, dude. Ha, oh, don't worry. Wait for the funeral, <laughs> right? You'll see. No, I swear, guys, rank. guys, guys, guys. When royalties come out, let's. I'll, I'll be honest, right? You will get like a thousand five mm-hmm. from Samra, literally. Mm. Wow. One point five, unless it plays. But it plays a lot on, on TV, though. Like, and the guys never want to be honest. Like, I think did I ask Questa? I'm not sure, but I've asked someone who had a really huge song. I'm like, bro. Because I've never really had a, I've had a hit, but a nice song, but not like a dominating the mm. chart song. How much do you get from Sam? How much do you really get? You know what I mean? The money's not that amazing. You know? That's why everybody's doing the gigs, ne? Yeah. That's where the money is. Yes, at. that's where the money is. I remember when I dropped my song, and then the year I went to on Brick Brother the following year, and then I came out, I got like a check of like... Twenty-five thousand mm. from 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 Samro. Mm. I remember coming out the house, you know, mm. and I was in wife would be paying me all these three months also. Yeah. So I came like, hey, what's going on in this account now? You know, yeah. this is different. And so like, the money's not that amazing, but for a super big song like that, I don't know how much it is, but yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if I hear around the figure of five hundred thousand. I really wouldn't be surprised. Jeez. So, okay, just to further, just a breakdown, because there was a first payment of 36,000, like just over 36,000. Second payment um, was the 39,000. And the third payment was um, 21,000, just over that. Yeah, so this was between like last year in 2021, November, December, and this year, Feb. 
there was such just the amount he was receiving. So that's ambitious paying in yeah. diamonds. Which no, equals no, no. to that 94,000. Is that ambitious paying in diamonds? Yes, or? yeah. Oh. No, no, it sounds no, like... Or is it in diamonds paying over 25% ambitious? Yeah, to yeah, ambitious. Right, yeah. To ambitious, yes, yes. yes. And he gets a cut from that, and then yes. ambitious will pay, pay him from that. Yes. Yeah. They the company. It's like I mean, the, if the company makes one million, and you're an employee, they won't just give you one million, right? Of course, right? yeah, of course. Give you yes. What's due to you? Of course, maybe fifty thousand, like, yeah. or, or ten, even, or whatever. You know what I mean? yeah. yeah, like literally. Yeah. So what's he crying for then? He signed the contract. He signed the contract. He signed. Yeah. And, and it seems like everybody followed due diligence. Because like, he said he hasn't received a rand. A rand. Yeah, a rand. I've not even received one rand. But his tweet made it seem like the streams, uh, the 12 million, um, t it's actually like 12 million rands. Like, because it's 12 million streams, he's owed a shitload of money. It made it seem like Lota that. tweeted it, man. Like, a million streams, it's nothing, bro. Streams are nothing. Mm. Streams, sadly, they're nothing. And it's not like before where you go on iTunes, we buy songs. You just put your TV on or photo on, you play Spotify, you stream, right? Streams are nothing. Like, like a million streams will pay you like something like 3,000 or something, something mm. stupid like that. Mm. And all of that also now needs to be... What is it? 75% yeah. 25% ambitious. ambitious. And on top of that, he needs to get paid something. Streams are nothing. 12 million streams are nothing. Mm. Like, they're not serious money. They're not 12 million. They're not, they don't even 1 million rands. Mm. They don't even half a million. They don't even 100,000 rands. Then, yo, 12 million streams. Google there. Yeah. Nota tweeted it at some point yeah. this week. They, they're not much. So much for Funi Mal in English. <laughs> ah, shame, man. But guys, it's the contracts people sign, you know. Know the contracts you sign, and and let's be honest, he makes that song, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, like, like when we sing that song, we wait for the chorus. Yes. We sing the chorus. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, like, I, I don't know the verses, all of them, and they're nice verses. Mm -hmm. uh, but he makes the song. I the think, song is the chorus. I think he's sour because he didn't get any gigs. Because Big Zulu milked it in terms of gigs. Yeah. Remember Which that December? Strange. He was booked but all over, bro. He, but why didn't he feature why? him? Why didn't they travel together? Like a different management, number one. Yeah, and he's not obliged to. Okay. It's like saying Kabza must travel with everybody that he's put on. Oh. Shasha. Yes. He you doesn't see. do that. Mm -hmm. You know? Exactly. Yes. The guy must just get in the studio and make more music. That's it. But, mm. yeah, but that also could backfire if he's got a shit contract in place. What do you mean? Like, if, oh, to make money from the bookings. Yeah, oh, I think the money's in the gigs. Yeah, yeah it's true. Because royalties, guys, they don't really pay that much. I mean, if, You're you, right. look, if you look at him, Seven's away to, um, everybody there ate from bookings. Dude, everyone. Lady Dude, oh, yeah. Pasta, Remember Pasta, Pasta Amarolo. Yes. yes. Exactly. So he was meant to do something with the song. Like, he didn't do anything, I think. But you see, the thing is, you you are a promoter. You book Big Zulu in Tabe in Tabe to Dubai. Yeah, right. Yeah, and then he comes to perform. Yeah, he performs a chorus, <laughs> and then he's out. <laughs> and then I wouldn't even be able to notice him if he walked there. I wouldn't yeah. even know it's him. Bro. I, I might, I might. I, I know the face. But I what might. I'm trying to say is that it was upon him to ride the wave. Either get into studio, make more songs, because the song was big. Mm -hmm. Then promoters will book him. Because on top of the songs that he's got out, they'd know that Imali Ningi, he'll perform that as well. Because that was the biggest. Yeah. Yes. Like what Toss is doing. Yes. Toss is releasing. He's not just relying on... Oh, he, on, 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 on... Oh, yeah. Umlando. Umlando. Yes, he, Toss is dropping, eh? Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So the government is getting a student drop and then he'll get gigs. Yeah, it must just work, man. He'll, he'll get gigs. But you see, he's probably got a 360 deal also with Ambitious and they do his management. But that's got nothing to do with gigs. Oh, if, if they could, do management, yeah, if they do, if, if they, they do, do man your management, yeah. it's got everything to do with gigs. Oh shit! So that means they don't, they don't even just like book him. And we don't know what kind of structure they have, you know. Like also, yeah. is it we book you out for hundred k, we give you ten, or what, you know? But that's oh, still on him. Knows, that's yeah. his contract still. Yeah. And the thing is with him, I think we ended up just only knowing who big Zulu, on you know that it's just a big Zulu song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, no, Dubai said Dubai, guys. Because it says featuring Dubai said Dubai, yes. and he's the one who sings. 
and that's why we're talking about him. Let's yeah. be honest, because we know him. Let's we know him. Like we know the name. We know the name. Remember but the name. He didn't come out of the shadow. I guess he just he it became just big Zulu. You know, mm. he overpowered the song. I guess. Yeah, he's a bigger brand. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Mm. But anyway, what else has been going on? This big Zulu's challenger then for his boxing match. <laughs> <laughs> They're both huge. No, seriously. <laughs> Actually. And he'll make oh. money from that boxing match. Oh. Ndabas in Dubai will make mm. money from there. Like, he'll make... Casper, he's the uh, promoter. He'll make serious money, like a couple hundred thousands, I'm sure. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Yeah, I'll show up to watch that fight because I know it's motivated yeah. or something. And you're saying Big Zulu has been wanting a fight, guys. You're more Nugutai. Yes. Also prepare. You I can't show up. You're banned for life. They banned you for 10 years. <laughs> Like Will Smith. Casper, please, man. Nah, man nah. You, ca- you, can't, you can't even Casper. just attend the pool parties on. The ah, pool man, party. Casper, ah, man. So cool Yo, bro, is Casper, Casper coming? Have you reached out to him? Uh, I haven't. I'll, I'll, I'll ask him. I'll text him. Yo, bro, are we good for the interview? Because I tried to call T. Lee today. He didn't answer. Oh, is yeah, it? For real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try Spike. He's also a nice guy. Who's Spike? One of the guys of Bridge Entertainment who works with T. Lee. Fuck Spike, man. You got his number. Contact him. I'll, I'll contact Casper. Yeah. Isn't he, he healing, respond. though? Casper, is, he, is he not healing? Respond. Like healing process? How's it hey. going? <laughs> hey, Bash, please do a, 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 a design, eh? That, a countdown. <clears throat> Uh, that counts down how many days since Casper said he'll come and he hasn't. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's check how many days and then we must keep it counting until he comes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Seven yeah. days until he said he'll come. 600 days. <laughs> Saul is married. <laughs> got five kids now. Hey, they're making on child number five and wife number four following his grandfather's footsteps. Yeah. 800 days. <laughs> hey, Since Casper yeah, yeah. said he'll come. Since Casper said he'll come. <laughs> it'll be like a lockdown, this guy, kind of. <laughs> yes, like the fat thousand of lockdown, yeah. remember? <laughs> After two years, I'm like, ah. Oh. Okay, you said 21 days, guys. Yeah, <laughs> Look at exactly. us now. Timbla has come out the closet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ah. <laughs> Spears married the girl who gave him head in the show. <laughs> in the pool of <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, so, so, in Brooklyn, you're the headliner. I act like a joke. I act like a joke. Oh, shit. Uh, what else is going on? Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. <laughs> Guys, Bonan, Faith right? is gonna get married, divorce, get married again before Casper comes. I so, think. <laughs> you think? I think it'll be a good marriage. <laughs> you have faith, ne? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. He's on fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta have faith, faith, faith. <laughs> 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 oh man, our gone bad. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a successful marriage. Fuck out of here. I really feel like the best marriages, right? And my whole thing is both men and women, it's better if you've been around, like before you get married. Okay, yes. You know, I prefer women who's had her whole face. Yes. I don't yes. want to have seen it or known about it. And guys have whole faces as and, well. It's and not just niggas women. Need to, yeah. Guys need to have whole faces as well. Yeah. You know, before going into a marriage. And a woman, I want my wife one day to have been through a whole face. I don't want to have been there, seen it. Mm-hmm. It's, it shouldn't be recorded or anything. Oh. But it's better like that. There mustn't Those be no make tape. The best marriages. Not someone's going to go through a whole face in a shatile because you're having small problems. Mm. Yeah. So that's why I think it might be a very successful woman. Like marriage, like... Dude, I but know it's not, it's, girls, not, it's not about the whole face, bro. With these girls, it's all about money. So he, right now he's got the oh, most money, and there'll come another guy with more money. Because you know there's a guy who's more there's money. Always, there's, there's always, more money. yeah, yeah, true, true. Oh. yeah. I mean, none of these eight girls never marry like a random guy with no money. Ooh, who do you know? Ooh. So do you but think you think it's gonna Kanye be a mini settled. Lamini kind of a thing situation? Yeah, of course, man. They won't last. Uh, but they won't no. last. But can bet on it. (laughs) (laughs) I bet you, Faith's marriage won't last longer than Casper will before he comes here. (laughs) 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 (laughs
Okay. Yo. I, Touche, I get it. Yo. I get you. I get you. I, I get what you mean. I feel like mean. Faith will call Casper. <laughs> like La Lela. So you're saying if she had married, not that we don't clarify poverty or anything, but yeah. a normal rich guy, normal like comfortable guy with a C class and something else and a, a decent house paid off. Then you would be like, ah, this is the real deal. This, this is the one. Yeah, what happens with these girls is that there's always a guy that they love, right? Mm -hmm. But the guy's broke. So he's the side nigga. Mm. And then they marry the guy. He's the one who... Yes, and then they marry the guy with the money. Uh, Do you know what he's worth, this guy? Yeah, the guy he married. Much? Like she married. Um, 240 million. You! How do we rand. know that in South Africa, though, guys? 240 million rand. He's, a, he's like a very wealthy businessman. I feel stump sucked, though. Like, how See, do we know that? And then Patrice that comes. How are you going to compete with Patrice? Hmm. See what I'm saying? It's, yeah, true. Like, she's fucked. She's crazy. out. How? She's gone. What are you going to do? She's gone. His dad is the former mayor of Peter Maritzburg. Mm. Well, the guy's dead. But still, how are you going to, like, yeah, but still. He's probably very rich. I just, like, how do, do we get to 240 million? You know, how do, mm. what do we evaluate? The businesses, which entity does that? It's, it's trucking, not a apparently. Company. It's a private company. It's a trucking business. Mm. But I do agree with you. Uh, rather marry a girl who's gone through a whole phase. I want to marry a girl who's gone through a whole phase. I don't want an angel who we something happens and then it triggers a whole phase in our marriage. I remember my cousin once. Um, he had this girl in Venda, man. Beautiful. Most beautiful girl you'll see. Hmm? Um... um hmm. Uh, oh, nice. Like, we thought, like, she's the one, they're getting married, boom, boom, boom. And he was staying in Joburg. Mm -hmm. So she comes, lives with him in Joburg. See where this story is going. Yeah. She comes, lives with him in Joburg. Mm -hmm. uh, starts going to Taboo. Oh, it was late. <laughs> this guy was Taboo. In the <laughs> it the was late. <laughs> Uh, when we saw, we're like, which one is this one now? <laughs> then she finds a true calling. Yeah. Like, That's her lane. She finds her lane now, you know? <laughs> you see? Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't ever marry an angel who's been through nothing. Yeah. Mm. Ever, 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 mm. ever. Recipe for disaster. Recipe. First argument, out the door. Oh. <laughs> Going to black door. Why is it black door in the center? <laughs> <laughs> as, a, as, a, as a lady, what do you think goes late? Do you agree with no, me? No, I totally agree. And I've always said that within amongst my friends. Like, you know that thing of like you're keeping yourself for marriage? Like, uh, sometimes just live. Don't keep yourself, you know, just know what's going on outside today, guys. That's rich from you. You made Mnaga wait for 10 months. For what? Before marriage. Yeah, but, but no. But you didn't keep herself her I whole didn't life keep. It's not like I keep Who's myself. Keeper? You know, she was out there, she was out and about. No, you, know, you know that strategy like because I knew I was like, you know what, I want you to really commit to marriage now. I don't want you just, okay, I'm with someone, we end up just being together and then it, it, we, we break up. It was that thing like, the next man I'm with, we need to get married. Because wow. you've been through everything, yes. you've seen it all. Exactly. exactly. So he waited 10 months. Yes. Before he could hit it. Yeah, because we. Uh, oh, uh, damn. Yes. Damn. Yes. What were you On guys our doing? wedding day. What were you guys doing? Nothing. Months? Tell me. We did nothing. Tell me. I, I, I still get fascinated. So when he got a hard on, what did he do? We, well, I, he kept it to himself. <laughs> <laughs> he kept it. Yeah. He kept it to himself. Tell me. I can't situation. even go 10 days, man. Who? Jeez, imagine 10 but months. But you know what? That's how, that's how you test love. That's when I knew, like, wow, this nigga oh, loves Oh, come me. on. That's not... No, no, the not measure. just yeah, but I'm just like it's also not it's not the total measure because guys can wait and then still fuck you up, you know. But in this situation, it was like okay because of the whole process, we have to do plan whether I'm a lobolo and the dates and all of this, just the commitment. Were you staying with the with the helper at this time? No, he had no helper. He was staying alone. He was alone. Yes. No helper. No help. Yeah. No help. <laughs> <laughs> No one was giving him a hand? No! <laughs> Nobody! Hey, Mnaga's strong, eh? Yeah? Mnaga is the man. He's the man he thinks he is. Oh, you, you. He, your, yeah, he's the man he thinks he is. But that never always works. Like, they didn't make him good and the husband or boyfriend didn't have sex for like three years when they were dating and waited, waited for marriage. Now they divorced. Don't take it too long for too long also. It's like, now they you know, divorced. Yeah, that's the... How's, how's the first night? Yes, how's the marriage night? Is it like... Ten months to wait for two minutes. <laughs> la, la. Like, is that it? I, you know what? Or was because it like was, the whole night? Like met, no, no, no. Like, I think we were tired. The wedding, oh, you know, yes. like we are just exhausted. Yeah, okay. You're it just, hosting. Yeah, it was so. just a weird. I just, if I remember from it, it was just weird. We did it weird. Okay, we fell asleep. Next day, we still had to go to um, watch Nelspreet for the... 
the day two, you know, of the tradition. So what oh, if yes. he was a bad lover? <laughs> yeah, what if the dick was bad? Ha! <sighs> no, oh, thank oh, God. And you discover him shut Hey! Hey! No, I was, I was like, okay, I'm willing to go, th- like, for this, for what I want, I'm willing to go through, like, that gamble. Mm. And thank you, Lord. Mm. <laughs> I think sex is teachable. Like, you could have taught him that, like, if it was yes. bad, it would be, yes. okay, there's something, we can work with this, yes. you know, like, I Man, you can't on. teach someone to have a bigger dick. <sighs> the smaller, okay, that, yeah, yeah, that's what should have been the question. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know like, what if he's a bad lover. Because, yeah, it's very in Gaga. But let's be honest. Let's, let's be honest, though. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. In those 10 months, yes. when you would have a hard-on, more bad available to see what you're working with. Yeah, I guess I I, 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 I would I would use shape. Mac, Mac G's, you know intuition. You know how he can spot. Who, yes, yeah, would, would you <laughs> pass rhymes? Yeah, to party. No, yes. I'm not. I'm not gonna go to big day. He needs a Dropbox. Hi, Bo. <laughs> <laughs> That's how big he's thinking. What? It's too big. <laughs> he needs a. I don't know what that means. He needs a Dropbox. What does that mean? <laughs> no, his dick is so big. He needs Dropbox. You know when you send something a, a file. Dropbox, yes, a file. Yeah, if it's too big, you need Dropbox. Oh, yes. Oh, like the cloud. Put in the cloud. Oh. I've been saving that one for months. I've been saving that one for months. It's the good one. <laughs> it's well thought out. It's just that like Dropbox. Yeah, yes, yeah, so it's just like, like, it's like uh, yo, who will you last use Dropbox? <laughs> like, like, shut so down we transfer something. now, you know. Yeah, we transfer you, the cloud now. Yeah, Google Drive, but. It won't have the same yeah thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah no so, I'm yeah. kidding I've never looked at another package I'm kidding <laughs> yeah, right. I just wanted to drop that one there <laughs> <laughs> oh wow <laughs> but I'm a happy woman yeah. alright what's next because later Alright, guys, so Bonang revealed um, that her fight about um, BNG with BNG, her champagne brand oh, yes. is still ongoing you know okay. so she went as far as she wrote um, that they will come a time when I will explain exactly what happened to me and the people need to learn from it. It's a lesson I learned and it's a mistake that anyone can make because we trusted people and we end up in complicated situations. Oh, shit, man. So, yeah. That's what happens when you don't own the brand, bro. When you're just a face. That's all. That's You've all said do. that. You've yeah, said but that. she made a mistake. She did say and that. And she's like admitting know? to it. Yeah, now. she's human, yeah. bro. Like you know, and it happens to a lot of people. You know what I mean? And it takes a big person to say, "Yo, I made a mistake. Or I signed a bad deal." You know. Hopefully so I guess, she comes, I guess right? the allegations that were put, you know, like maybe like because they were saying they were struggling to work with her and all of these. Maybe she's admitting to that. That yes, maybe it's what when she says, "I made a lot of mistakes," but anyway, I will talk about it later. That's maybe why I always advocate for celebs to own their own, own brands. Their Otherwise, you're at the mercy of someone else. Hmm. I mean, look at Drip. Drip can release panties tomorrow because he owns that shit. Yeah, I'm probably working on them now. Yeah, drip panties. Oh, <laughs> drip panties. Oh, keep drip on dripping. <laughs> Ooh. Keep dripping. Who man's a pass? Hey, damn, I like that. Drip panties. Baby, I'm wet. Must be drip. It must be drip. It must be the drip, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want to talk about, Doug? Sense, uh, guys. Oh, Ooh. the ducky. Oh, hey, Takara. Ish. I'm on episode three, man. I haven't, like, finished it. I did You guys finish finished it. it? I finished it. And oh, what's the conclusion sad. there? Like, what does it look like after the end of the docu? Like, what happened? Basically, the moment? end just goes to the five guys who are now we're seeing who have been, well, who are charged and going through this whole um, case. You've this seen week, on, yeah, yeah, even this, this week, week these guys, you know, and which are now are said to be the Killers, alleged oh, killers. On. Yeah, so it's very. That's where it's like after that whole. It almost just takes you through this roller coaster, emotional roller coaster. That's it what does, it just it did does, to me. It does. Like uh, I actually hated the the end. I haven't seen it, man. I feel like I know everything about that case, and it's not like they solved it. Yeah, it just goes around in, in circles. Yeah, know, I like, think if there was a, a solution or like a yes, a, a, final destination. A new discovery. Yes, then I'd watch it, but I haven't had the thing of like, let me watch this thing. Because you know, yeah, it's, yeah. it's going to get you a non-conclusion. Yes, like, exactly. They're going to leave you hanging. Yes. 
So it's like, ah, so Kelly Kumalo even appointed with this case that's going on, appointed an attorney to just be observing the whole proceedings on her behalf. Oh, she hasn't been going. Then. Yeah, she hasn't been going. Oh, so okay. obviously that kind of like, why would she be, if she's innocent, why would she be like placing an attorney there? And <laughs> what room have you real? You know, like she's going to go through some abuse. When she goes to the courtroom, she's gonna have eyes. People will probably have some. But she's smart not charged, remarks. so why would she even go there? Or just for support, you mean? No, I'm saying I understand why she's sending like a proxy or a lawyer mm-hmm. to be there on her behalf because you know she's gonna. She probably wants to take over mental health as well because you know that people have concluded in their heads, would she? She knows something. So she's probably try, just trying to protect herself because whether she shows up, people will say, oh, wow, she's showing up for Senzo. We love her. Maybe mm-hmm. she's innocent because mm-hmm. people have made up their minds. Let's be honest. Mm-hmm. What rumors have you heard about what happened? Because there's a lot of rumors oh, yeah, yeah, flying yeah, around. Yeah, the, the, the rumor that I heard is because Chico's son was there uh, yeah. a long way yeah. and that uh, there was an argument that ensued. A shot was fired. Mm. That's the rumor mm. you know, that I've heard. I heard the same rumor as well. I heard um, uh, Kelly apparently is on drugs. And oh, damn. Chico's son was the dealer. Oh, so damn. he was there the night. And then. So we were twilight on drugs. Yeah. Chico's son. And then that's when uh, the shots happened. And then. Um, shots of. Drugs? No, no, no. Oh, no, no. there. Yeah. Oh, shit. And then, obviously, because it's Chico's son, Chico covered the whole thing. That's why no one knows till this day what went on. Yeah, yeah, I've heard about that as well. Because, yeah. I mean, Chico's rich, dog. He's, you know, he's, he's a businessman. Mm. He's got and he's got connections, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's got connections, yeah. definitely. And then the other rumor I heard is that uh, it was a sacrifice by Kelly. <laughs> That's why since she's, he's, he's passed away, she's been booming. <gasps> Shout out f- for a while. Speaking on that, shout out to uh, uh, Mzilegas of Africa. Like, was one of the best like investigative, investigative journalists. Journalist, yeah. And also, yeah. he's a music producer. Actually, he DM me two years ago, wanted to make a song, but I wasn't in the right space. I must call him. Yeah. Shout out to him. He was on the docky, right? Yeah. And yeah. he mentioned something. So, so there was some new info. Speaking of the, the sacrifice. sacrifice thing, he mentioned something that after. The the, 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 the the shooting happened mm. that morning at like three o'clock in the morning. He said, Kelly went to a Sangoma in Foslo. Mm. No way. Yeah, to... to Ubayokes. Uh, Ubayokes. Yeah, yeah it's Clans. in the dark here. I'm not making this shit up. That's why I'm like, shout out to Mzili Gazwa Africa. Mzili, mm-hmm. he mentioned this. Yeah. That guy's good, bro. Like, at some point, some politicians were wanting him because hey, that guy's good. Like, Google him. Like, Mziwa Africa. Mzili Gazwa mm. Africa. Yeah. To Do go you think the truth will ever come out? And then... The Sangoma, if I'm not wrong, when when now she, because she didn't know what's what, going on. What's so, going oh, on? a client is coming at sure, 2 o'clock sure, in the sure, morning, sure. whatever, cool. When she found out. See, that's what, what uh, Sangomas do not go to Mikalo at 3 in the morning. <laughs> 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 like poor Madi. Aye. Aye. Ah, come on. <laughs> must be on but call. How? Some come on call. Yay. <laughs> but Sangomas do party, man, then. Because look, Pelagonia. You know, go back to Virginia. Okay, why? Feel like Virginia, go wow. So the song was like, okay, it's just clients coming through at three, up until she sees what happens in the news and stuff, and then if I'm not mistaken, goes to a police station, Palafitafit or something like that, and then Jeez. she was threatened, Uguti. Drop this shit of yours, otherwise you'll see gak. Mm-hmm. And she was silenced. It's in the, I'm not making this up. I'm, I'm mm. telling the story right now. Mm. It's in, in the, in the, must watch the talk here. Like there's some that I was like, whoa, that's hectic. What? Why are you okay? Because why? Like why? You know, I don't know how the work. Your, 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 your husband or your, your your boyfriend just passed away. Yeah, and it's not because you did anything wrong. wrong. So you didn't. I, mean, I remember I don't know the the you know, into, I think for me I think it's so why so quick you know why so quick Did yes it, you know? maybe, yes like I mean if I've got a funeral at home you know I mean my mom passed away look how crazy the day she dies mm. you know what I mean 
you do the thing and then you're humble, okay. So like a in the corner, you don't need a sangoma to do that. Mm. You're a family it could member be family needs to members. do it. Like you know what I mean? No sangoma is needed. Mm. So why on the day, why so soon, why so immediate? You know? Do you think the truth will ever come out? <clears throat> no. It's because I feel like it's been so long. It's so buried by I don't know who, by how. But it, I feel like it's been so long, it's distorted now. It's, mm. it's you get me? It, it's probably tempered with anyway. Mm. It, it's been so long, bro. Oh, and, and I don't know about the good to clean you. Oh, yeah. When the cops the, came, yes. it was cleaned. The scene but only was a tempered hat was with. there, a yeah. random hat yeah. was there. But we're cleaning you, like, yo. Um, I'm next door had to who cut, cleans? I Someone yeah. just could died here like you don't touch anything mm. it's like when you're in a car crash you yeah, know? yeah you don't move the car mm. you don't do shit this way just hide the, the alcohol mm. yeah yeah you remember i was in a car accident with him. Ah. I, was, I was passed out loud <laughs> hey we got stories on this podcast <laughs> we're from Mikalo. yeah we're from Mikalo. Hey, Mikalo <laughs> <can't start laughs> I in a, this guy never says with with Mikalo. <laughs> doesn't end well this guy rode off his car i, I passed out Woke up in Pinoni, who were Crystal Park. <laughs> like, and I'm like, you know, dazed. Dropped me off at home. I'm like, what happened yesterday? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, I wrote off my car. <laughs> <laughs> that, f- that truck smashed us. Like, smashed us. Yeah, here's a picture. I'm like, I was in that car. <laughs> yeah, I was just leaving. <laughs> Story about well. It's not funny though, man. Yeah. Anything could have happened. I could have lost a leg. Yes. You know what I mean? Just wish me luck. Break your leg. <laughs> like what is crazy? Elamrange. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, and yeah. Was he getting head on the way home? <laughs> hey, well, was there another person? <laughs> huh? What are you going on, <laughs> But I, I remember. But the thing is, in that case, yeah, like in an accident. What's a head count? I don't know. Is it now head part this motherfucker? Like, <laughs> You couldn't get butts that day. <laughs> so head butt him now. Like, hey, young Ghana boy. Wow, hey, young Ghana. So, you know what I mean? You don't temper with evidence. You don't temper with anything. And apparently, you know, it was tempered with. Mm. Sure. No, you must, crazy, you must watch it. You must take some time and just like, yeah, watch Take some time and check it out. Imagine this, being this sensitive family, family oh. bro. It's you just want man. answers, man. Yo, True. I think that's where also it's just like, oh man, for the, just the sake of this family, can they just get the answers so they can yeah. rest? So but also, rest. there's a point where I felt for Kelly because there was a point where I, I think she she tried to meet the family. Oh, okay. Because Senzo wanted to do a temple thing, like polygamy. Uh, mm. uh. <clears throat> but he started it the wrong way. Yeah. You know, like completely, you know what I mean? And the wife, he had spoken with the wife before and she was cool. But when it was happening now, it's like, this is not how you do it, you know? Mm. And Kelly, I think there was a point where she met the family and respected mom, like Senzo's mom, like Sobona Ma, but she was just met with resentment Resist- yeah. and, 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 and reject, rejection. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? I felt for her there. You know, there was a time where they were supposed to drive and Senzo's mom, which I understand, was like, I'm not going to get into this car. Because mm. yeah. if anything happens... What am I uh, going to say to yeah. the to the, to the wife? Yes, you know what yes. I mean? Like, And th- those things really happen. Like... You are cheating, get into an accident with a side chick. It almost happened to me once. And mm. I was like, how I was gonna explain that mm. you know, to my woman back then? Like, this person it, it died in my car with an accident, you know what I mean? And she was like, I'm not gonna get into this car. So that kind of rejection also was like, ouch, you know? And yeah, man. So at some point you really feel for her. And but this is nice, because at some point, everybody, it's not like they're trying to cast Kaylee as the guilty one. They ask questions about everyone. Everyone. Oh, like, okay. yeah. Could the wife have done it? Yeah. You know? The and wife. The friends. And the friends. Oh, yeah. yeah. What yeah. motive does the wife have? Uh, payouts, whatever. But the friends were like, people thought Senzo was a millionaire. We knew Senzo doesn't have money. He's not a millionaire. You know? mm. It's one of those like footballers getting underpaid. And yeah. But you got to ask those questions also. Could the wife have benefited anything, something? Did she have a motive? Husband mm. cheating, husband hits her for the first time because she. Th- it, it was said that at some point, you know, he start 
because he'd never been physical with his wife, yeah. but started being physical. Mm. You know what I mean? All these things. And you've got to ask, could the friends, is it, is it fake friends, mm. or is it jealous friends? Is it, could it be, you know Because what I mean? they were friends with the wife. Also, those friends that were with him. <laughs> yes, they were yes, close yes. with the wife. Yes, they were yeah. close. Obviously, made, you know, yeah. your girlfriend, like he says, you're from Dala, that you're day one. So, we want to be close, you know. What has the wife said? Has she said anything? Um, I think they, no, she, she, she didn't, I, didn't, I haven't seen it on the docu, but I think there's tapes or something. Because yeah, Netflix to expands, like when they do these things, they get footage from all over. All you know? over so they show yeah. the wife in the presser at PSL, where she, you know, saying, yeah, cool, the money is going to get paid out to the kids, whatever. She didn't really get much even from the PSL yeah. money or It seemed like money. it was for the kids. It's for the kids, yeah, you know. Yeah. So she didn't even benefit anything. But I remember she was so happy and smiling. I think she had closure and accepted, you know. Yeah. Uguti, okay, this had happened and it probably moved but on. Don't you ever life. think also like with Senzo's behavior, like his promiscuity, like, because it seemed like it hurts both women, you know, this is, it almost like he had it coming to him. Mm. Yeah, Not he should have waited 10 months. Ah, well? you see, he'd be alive huh? with one woman, <laughs> with one loyal woman. Come on. <laughs> What goalkeeper's no. gonna wait ten months? You're a superstar. <laughs> You're a superstar, <laughs> and you, 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 it's, it's, you know. And they did say he he was just loved. He, like women were just mm. falling for him. Yeah. You know. Mm. So his behavior, in a way, as well. You know, like they say sometimes with the connies into that you just kind of invite into your life because of your behavior. And look, I'll be honest. Ne? What happened to Senzo happens to a lot of men. Mm -hmm. Whether he just got his first car mm. and he's been with this girl. For for years, mm. and then I can't can, can, can. You know what I mean? Mm. At a smaller scale, for real. Yeah. Or he just got his first big job, mm. or he, he just got famous now. Mm. You know, I can't change. Even at a smaller scale, and start cheating, start whatever. It's whole just phase. that. Yeah, it's just that. Yeah, it's whole phase. You know what I mean? It's just that we don't we don't all end up. You know, with the same fate to suffer the yeah. same penalties yeah. as the goalie, you know? <laughs> but we it happens. All of us. It, it happens to us. Oh, that's a good answer. That's a good answer. <laughs> <That's a good laughs> <laughs> but it happens to everyone, I'll, I'll be honest. So <laughs> I'll be it's a cool. You know what I'm gonna pick you know what I mean? So it happens like where you have to be you a cute by <laughs> It happens where you just get that little success or fame or you know and you start fucking around. I'll be honest. When was your whole phase? It, it, bro? it happens. After Big Brother, ne? Nah. Yeah. Was it after my brother? Proper whole phase was after Big Brother. My Whoa. proper. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> And they got to play the show early morning, on, you know, like eh, eh. On, on 5 FM, because I immediately went to 5, finished early morning, like, it was crazy, dog. Yeah. And I'm driving a Benz. Mm. It was nuts. Like, it was yeah. fucked up. Like, mm. you yeah. And you had a girl at the time? Yeah, I did. Ish, poor girl. Oh, no, like a day, like, woo. A day? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it was nuts. This guy, la boy. Like you meet a girl today, Zakala. Uh. Or you meet today, tomorrow, Zakala. Mm. Or even those promoters at the event. And events. you go drop off, call somebody else, Zakala. That's when I almost got into an accident with someone. And I was like, fuck, hell. You How see the Jaeger Meister girls there at uh, Capital. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Aswa Kletila, the those ones. Yeah. Aswa Kletila. Oh, capital, yo. Ah. Nah, yo, yo, whole days was. was <laughs> oh. Hey, what was yours, dog? ETV. My <laughs> fam. When you underage then? Yeah. <laughs> ETV. But I'm Mitisa. When I still, like, cause I was a Mitisa driver, remember? But I'm Mitisa, not that. Now I'm still gonna meet her though. <laughs> yeah. When was your whole face, dog? Ah, definitely why I Why? Yeah, like why was girls. crazy. Well, for you guys, why I was nuts. Yo. You, Mo, Tolly. Even, even 947, but it was just snow bunnies, eh? Mm. That was crazy as well. Yeah, yeah, oh. 947 for real. Yeah. Dope. I, but why I think was the peak, eh? Yeah, why was the peak? So and it's funny, it now, all the girls I've been with, they never want to admit, now. eh? You'll never see any of them tweet. <laughs> for real? Yeah, and all the girls I've been with, they never want to admit. For real? It's like, it was meant to be a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was. Girls, Maybe it was. Girls, <laughs> yes. You guys, you guys have a, 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 
like a, a shame fuck. Like, yeah, a I think I'm a shame admit, fuck, bro. A shame fuck. I don't know. Maybe we'll call it a shame fuck. Yeah. There's, girls have a shame fuck. Like, like they'll never admit or say, so, I an ex, this guy. An ex is just... Oh, yeah, they don't want to consider you as an ex. Even though you smashed, it's like, I think it's you're a mistake. When's it? Grenade. Yes, they treat you like a grenade, like roadkill. Like Dog. they use you and just puff. I feel so used. You're a roadkill, yes. And I'm out here singing. <laughs> singing. No. Uh, uh, shut up. <laughs> we deny you. <laughs> with women, the only men they know is the one they are currently with. That's the most. Yes. 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 yes, yes. Am I Please, those were just. That means it's like, ah, oh, why are you telling people? Like, Kindergarten friends. I'm like, you introduced me to your parents. What do you mean? So serious, then, with you? No, 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 no. She, she, she wanted. Hey, me, I had this thing when you start introducing me to your parents, I, I chuck. For real? Because yeah, you, you didn't like commitments. Yeah, That's no, I don't like commitments. I just wanted to hit and run, dog. Mm. Oh, I just wanted to introduce you to your parents. I oh, so you tucked because of yeah, the parents. Yeah, yeah. Uh, After that, I'm like, I'm out. Uh, mm. Yeah, that was a very like a good strategy to make a guy run away. I know that's right. Yes, because either he's yeah. in, or, he's either in or out. But there's guys like that's me who will just stay because I want what I want. I don't care. I can meet your whole family. <laughs> I can slaughter the cow. In, you know, that's what just a thing in the mood. <laughs> Once I get what I get, I'm out. How do you know? No, no, no. I'm not going to be booze. I'm not going to be booze. I'm not going to be booze. I'm not going to be I'll go through the full monkey, the whole 90 yards. I'll do anything. I'm not going to be a pendula. Exactly. <laughs> Hey, me! I'll do the everything. You learn the clan names. I eh? will learn the clan names. It's a band and a I'll be paint. I will. Yo, your kid, is, if you have a kid, will love me like I'll be dad. I need am focus. Eh? When, I, when I fo- zoomed in on the target, uh, I'm so in there. I'll, so I'll do everything. I'll, yeah. the, I'll go through it. Take the car to the car wash. Take the car to the car wash. <laughs> oh, anything. You know? When I get it, I get it. I get it. I'm good. I'm out. <laughs> Dan, you're Sala, dangerous. Sala, gentlemen. Sala, Sala, family. Ah, Billy Bok. Ah, Kaka, Billy Bok. Gone. Going. You're dangerous, son. You're... Yeah, I'm, I'm focused. Like, I know it's a thick thing to do, but I don't do that. You know, these are old stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah you are, you are that stories. boy that uh, moms would like literally say, stay away. No. Did you, did you have a whole face, ghost lady? Me. Parents love me. Yes. Yeah. Mm. But it's like to what extreme? But yeah, like. <laughs> the way you say guys. yes, like you're not proud of it. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. 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 Because exactly, it's deny, deny, deny. <laughs> or nine, nine, nine. You know? <laughs> deny, deny. Or nine, deny, yeah, deny, deny, deny. I see. Oh, man. Good. But girls go crazy reason. when they go through a whole phase. They, you guys do it worse than us, man. You guys are so... You got the, the blueprint to this thing. Yeah. yeah whole, girls' whole face. Bruh. Hey, they'll Bruh. show you flames, eh? Never have a girl go through a whole phase while you're dating her. You! They'll show you flames. Mm-hmm. And a lot of us have had girls go through a whole phase while we're dating them, and it will kill us when you find out at to what extent. Yeah. And with who? Because they, they, y'all are good at keeping it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Under oh, wraps. Yeah. And I think with guy, girls also, we also we know how to spot the vulnerable guys, you know? So it's also playing someone who's really into you. Mm. Then it hurts you, you know? Mm. So you know, it's like, ah, Shem. Those ones actually thought they would marry me. Mm. <laughs> anyway. I was there to play. Anything else, bro? Nah, man. Ish. I feel like there's something we're missing. Must have so go much. through the prep. Yeah, yeah. Like just, I think we've covered a lot, though. We've covered everything. <clears throat> Ooh, shout out to Galatuxin, bro. Yeah. Oh, that, that guy genius, is bro. a god DJ. Like, he book that guy, guys. Book Galatuxin from Durban. You. He reminds me of Shimza when when, when he was. Yeah. yeah, just won the Smyrna thing. Yeah, he's oh, good, that guy. Yo, that I guy. had to play after him in Durban. Fuck Yo, me. When you're playing after him, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> the whole club was like, Hey, Pete, Nessa, yeah. Pete. The girl comes, you're like, hey, I like this. The whole club, Pete. Then she grabs the Jäger Meister, like, Pete. And then, then they like move like a snake. Yo. Then she moves out the VIP, like, Pete, Nessa, yeah. She goes out the club, you're like, yeah. 
<laughs> then the song stops we're like fuck where's the mile call it's gone that guy is good like he gets you in a trance man that guy is a... yo Gala Tucson can play yeah, yeah. no fucked up no you killed fucked it though up. as well you know like yeah. but yo Gala Tucson is amazing shout out to him bro mm. yo it's like even yesterday I forgot the guy I is not here the guy who played before me yeah he plays piano what's his name Maria no the guy yeah with the Ria who yeah Ria Ria the Soul. Yeah. That guy is good also. Like, yeah, you know, comes to me like, yo, go, this guy is good, man. Like, are, are you okay? Just, <laughs> are you going to be okay? I'm like, <laughs> he, he just played your whole set. I'm like, hey. I got thousands of songs and this to just beats. Don't worry, I'll be good. And Who's the greatest good, piano DJ? <sighs> greatest country. piano Uh-uh. No. I'm going to go with Guys are good out there. Musa Keys is a beast. I'm gonna go with Yeah, Musa Keys. Durban Goko. Whoa! Durban Goko is a beast. Best, best. I'm gonna be on a DJ. For me, my, my favorite. Wow. I'll go with Durban Goko. She's a beast. I think I haven't heard her many, but she's a beast. Bro. Actually, actually, yeah, because it's, it's she's got that performing thing. You know? It's like there'll be maybe a dance or something. No, no, just, no. It's not it's, that though. It's they, it's she's good, like mm, technically. Mm. She, she's good. You know, me I'm all about technique, you know? Mm -hmm. Like she's good. She's very good. Like I, I see the And the crowd uh, response, you know, those yes. things. She's she's got those. Kevin Goko is amazing, man. But there's so many, bro. It's so it's an unfair question mm. though. I think there is none. And I say, mm. the reason why I say that, like none of these piano cats have like actual they don't have like technique, like they don't make love to the mixer. Oh. Like if you watch Shimza play, bro, mm. like he'll do things with the mixer that you never thought could happen. So I've never seen a piano DJ do that with the mixer. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, but not like mega mixing. Piano is not heavy, like effects heavy, heavy. Like that guy read the soul yesterday. He was yeah. doing those things, the mixing and yeah. the acapellas, and you know, like whoa, okay, on piano. And most mm. other piano guys don't do that. You know? I'm telling you, bro. If Shimza played piano, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Like DJ, DJ. Because most of these mean. guys are producers the that DJ. The artistry. I know what you mean. Yeah. Most of them are producers mm. that just DJ, mm. which is cool, right? Yeah, yeah. But there's not like. A DJ who you can call a name who doesn't have a song, but it's just like a piano DJ and they kill it. Am I making sense? Mm. Oh, like Shimza didn't have music for a long time, but he was such a super DJ. Yeah. He just played music so good. Yeah. Without being an artist. We could play the but same set. Stokey. Stokey I mean, is just. Stokey technique. is a DJ. He's a DJ. Yeah, he's, a, he's like a, 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 my kind of DJ. Technique. But, yeah. but, like, yo. but what I'm saying so, is that if Shimza and myself, would play the same set. Mm. He do things with that mixer that with the same songs. With the same songs. Mm, true. That's what I'm saying. True. We don't have anyone no, we, we like. No, we don't that. have a piano DJ G who's just I know. DJing, DJing, like just strictly DJing. I feel like that guy is the guy yesterday, the soul is like that, but it's not known. But there's so many amazing DJs out there. You know, bro. You go to clubs, you're like, this guy's unknown. You're like, what the fuck, bro? You're brilliant. Yeah. But with that South Africa, where everybody, every second guy is a DJ. Actually, and also, go. No, 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 I was just going to say Devon Gogo and um, they're going to be playing at Coachella. Do you know that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. in Major League, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah shout out. Corner. Wow, man. Yeah, Devon Gogo deserves Coachella. Mm -hmm. She's, she's going to rock them. What's up with the resistance, though, of guys not wanting to produce? I'm not saying they must, but it, they're always like, oh, when people meet me because I've been like DJing for a while and made music before, like, you know, Afro stuff. They're like, ah, piano. Ah, like, what's up, what? Don't just people embrace it, especially the OGs. I don't get it, man. It's, it's the stuck in the past, thing. bro. They don't want to move weirdest, with the times. It's the weirdest thing. I'm not saying make it. Just embrace it, though, you know? Yeah. It's the it's... weirdest thing. It's like you've betrayed some movements when you play piano or you make piano. I'm like, guys, this thing is literally like a direct descendant from Kwaito. Our shit, our sound. Like, And also, it. you have to cater to the audience that's partying right now, the people that are in the clubs true like when we started rock the girls those people now have kids and mm. families mm. they're not going to the club yes there's a new generation it's more yeah. magic trying sleep. to hear Monique Bingham rough come Rocco Rocco it's a different time you can yeah. accept the, like, like piano so musical man like yeah. you know yeah. like it's like lock drum will come, but before there'll be some crazy guitar and chords, you know, in the build up, and then the lock drum comes, it goes back. You know I have I mean? the same argument with Biggs and Terrace. Every time musical. I see him, I'm like, dude, do piano is like, nah, 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 nah. 
Ah, no, no, no. And dog, these kids worship him. They even uh, sample him. Bro, mm. listen to Kelvin Momo's album, like the latest. Like, that thing's musical. Like, you can't, like, a guy asked me today, like, yo, so you play so nice, but you play so. I'm like, I'll play piano so. Like, you will, like, is this piano, but it's so for, like, your Kelvin Momo's, your, 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 your. That's keeper, what the who? With the guitar. And there's so many, like, guys who are good. Mm. Musical. Mm. You know, Spanish is not just ratchet. It started with the whole eh, ratchet. Senor you know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just amazing what it is and what it has become and all the pockets of musicality within piano. Mm. So I don't get the resistance, man. Who's your favorite ghost lady? Piano. Uh, yeah. DJ. DJ. Mm. Mm. Musa Keys, I like Musa. Oh, yeah. Musa. Yeah. Hey, Musa. Musa man. Keys killed me. He tweeted this, <laughs> this week. He's like, a girl came up to him at a party. He's like, oh, you're good looking in real life. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but his trip is crazy. Yeah, yeah, what's no. I'm say, but yeah, yeah. yeah. See, oh, that guy trip, dog. Yes. Look how I like some, you know, like, uh, Wellingtons. I'm a Putin here at, at his, uh, that's uh, Valentine's thingy. Uh, his trip, though. Hey, yeah. Musa, good trip, hey? Yeah. Yo, oh, good trip, bro. Trip. And shout out to Nama Nama Shum 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 Shum. Hey, uh, Cody, po, 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 po. DJ DJ Don Sanana. You know that song? Mm, I know. Yeah, I always rock it. I just, you always rock it. I, I love it. You know, like mm -hmm. ah, Musa Keys is a. He's like one of the my favorite like piano producers. Oh, is it? Beast. Beast. All right, man. Ghost lady, anything else you wanna say? Ah, uh, shout out to Makazi. And what did she do? She yeah. won at the Nickelodeon Kids oh, Choice wow, Awards. Oh, wow, oh. yes. Yo, shout out Makazi. Yo, well done. Hey, Makazi's gone, Favorite African eh? star award. Makazi's yeah. gone, eh? Favorite African star. Wow, no, she's Ma gone. She's gone, man. Gone girl, gone. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. She's like, acknowledged it that far. Guys. Oh, fuck. When I was chatting to Biggs and he said that, you see the Limpopo sound? Yes. Out of that's the international sound that people fuck with outside of the country. Well, so there's different Limpopo sounds. The, 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 uh, the, the King Monada, King the Monada. Master KG, Makazi sound. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's the sound that people outside of SA really fuck with. Hence, Jerusalem. Oh. And a lot of people in Joburg feel like it's a tavern yeah. tavern sound. Because yeah. they're so basic, the key. Yes. It's like you are learning fruity loops or something. Yes. You know? But it's just basic and nice. Yes. That sound is wow. the one. For like real. you know, a lot of people produce piano because they wanna or oh, 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 deep Afro tech, whatever, because mm. they wanna go overseas. Yes. But that's the sound that Europeans love. Wow, and, and they hey. identify as a South African sound. Yeah, yeah. Cause Cause I remember I even, even Mujava. Remember Mujava? Yes. 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 With the, with the, with the, 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 the it's almost like Bacardi now. Yes. The, the, the yeah. You know, you know Kelvin Harris used to open for Mujava. What? Yeah, before social media. Fuck Yo, you, you see? Mujava was the first DJ to go, like what Black Coffee is doing now. Uh -huh. Mujava did it, but without social media. So no one knew about it. Like, listen to Sweet Nothing. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Kevin Harris. They chopped him. They, they chopped him. They, yeah. they definitely chopped him. Because when you'd go there and they'd open up for him, Mjava would play and they're like, what the fuck is this? What? Yeah, so that's wow. an untapped sound. Yeah, because to us, I remember even Munada. He was like, yeah, they sell me tavern music, whatever, whatever. To us, it was like, aye. <laughs> That's a spot in Guamamsi, you know, something like, I. But that's the shit. That's the shit. They wow. love overseas, man. Because I'll be honest, man, you know, when I heard Jerusalem the first time, mm, mm. I was not blown away. Mm, yes. I was not mm. blown yeah. away. Like, I was like, ah, it's, it, it, it's, 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 it felt like it's a, it's a cheat code, you know? Yep. Just that nice. Mm. But I was not like, you, but you, you it grew and you're like, okay. It's it's a genius song, you know yeah. what I mean. Well, that's what they want. Because who started the want. dance? Was this dance? Did it start here or? Nah, international. No, it was international. It was international. international. Yeah. Definitely international. Exactly. The song was was released for like a year here. No one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no one. The, we true. all felt like me. Oh, it's a nice song, but you know. And then we saw it international. Oh, okay, it's a very special song. And then you yeah. started playing it now. I I've never played it. Mm. I've How? never played it. Why not? Uh, I, I played piano. Do you play it, <laughs> Like, uh, do you play it, Makai? Do you play Jerusalem? Yeah, at corporate events. Ah, you see, of course, man. Because the white people say like, right? Yes. <laughs> it's like it's like Nkalagata. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> gotta play Nkalagata. You book you know those corporate there? songs. There's yeah. We uh, we need Kumalo. I want to live my life. You gotta yes. drop that. Uh -huh. You gotta drop Jerusalem right now. Yes. You gotta drop which other one? It's an Indian song, the old Indian song that they love. But there's songs that in every corporate you have to drop. Yeah. No matter which DJ you are. Okay. It's an Indian song, man. They love it, bro. Mm. 
Old song. You guys, Indians lose it when they hear this song. You know, they play the 947 a lot. We join. We join. It's not you gotta show me love. I think it's gotta, you gotta show me love. Oh yeah, you gotta show me love, yeah. yeah. <laughs> dun, 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 yeah. And there's Malaika as well. Malaika! Oh, yes, yeah. 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 Yes, yes, yes. It's all yes. corporate, yeah. Mikasa, you can drop any Mikasa oh, song. Oh, yes. Mikasa, oh, I mean, Mikasa. corporate, like, you know. <laughs> play the full ah, city. <laughs> Ah, they're back to back. They play that shit Kent, at annual general Kent. meetings. <laughs> they love Kent. They love oh, Kent. Kent. Yes, yeah. Kent. Uh, spin my world around. Yeah. Mm. Yo, I once got booked to uh, uh, the, 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 the rugby team. One of the rugby teams, the Sharks or whatever. Okay. Yeah. They had won the, the title or whatever. Yes. Oh, yeah. So I got booked there. And I get there. Oh, my word. I'm thinking it's another corporate gig. I'm thinking live my life. Winnie Kumalo. I'm sorted, mm-hmm. you know. Mm. And Kalagat. Yes. Ah, it's just burras. Sure. They want Suki Soki. Suki Soki, oh. <laughs> hey, hey, fish and chips. But me being MacGyver, you know, you always gotta make a plan. Uh-huh. But Buren make a, make a plan. <laughs> Buren make a plan, bro. And MacGyver <laughs> makes a plan, okay? Yeah. So I was like, uh, I was like, I'm taking dedications and then I connected uh, Wi Fi to my laptop. Smart. And then you'd come and just request and then I'd play it. <laughs> <laughs> As long as they happily dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so your for job. three hours, I was just taking requests. That's your job. That's it. That's it. No, I don't get DJs are running cards. Yeah. No, I don't get DJs are running cards. Exactly. No. I feel like I'm 12. How? I feel like I'm running cards. Like, you know what? Like at a wedding. You can't come. No. Like, don't play for yourself. Don't you know? play for yourself. Especially at a wedding. At a wedding. No. Book. Just don't take those kind of bookings if you're that kind of DJ. Yeah. You don't have the music. You're not versatile. You don't want to see people dance. You want to prove your artistry your arti- no, no what's no. the point you know? who cares Bro, I've, I've played for every crowd in SA man it's beautiful I've played for gay people as well oh, oh flip for yeah. real yeah I was a resident at uh, this club, club here yeah this club You've here by Dunkeld Dunkeld uh, mm. what's this oh, club by Hyde Park was that a gay club there yeah I went with Len once and they were grabbing his butt <laughs> <laughs> And he didn't say no. <laughs> but like, lend me some of that ass. <laughs> like, lend me some of that <laughs> For real. Shame, man. <laughs> but, that's, but, but I mean, if that's what goes on there, yeah. it's, then everybody... Yeah, because they think if you're you enter, Yeah, if you yeah, enter, yeah, you yeah, are, what do you call it? This is your, the space. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you exactly. Free. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, you, you, you came. Yeah, you know your game. I mean? yeah, your yeah. game, like... Yeah. Which it's a free space and it's a safe free, space, yeah, so exactly. I understand. You know what I mean. Played I for understand. colored people, they're dope, man. Oh, colored mm. people! Yeah, they listen to I the same music them, we do. They love Kent, bro. You can drop Kent oh, for no, an yeah. hour. True. Yeah, they love Kent. True. Mm. Mm. Beautiful. Who else have I played for? Everybody, man. Damn, bro. All race, Indian people as well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They're a vibe also. Yeah. Nice. Anyway, we out here, man. Podcast yeah. and chill. We out. Are we out. We've been tr- close. We've on this been show. trying to close. Oh shit! Do I have any announcements? No announcements, no. No announcements. Uh, just check out Chiller's Market. Grandeur is available as well. Okay. Shout out to our Patreons. We're coming at you live from Mashabella Studios. If thank you want to use the studio you. podcast at mashabella.co.za. Oh, and yes, man, before we go, man, our condolences, our love goes out to all our brothers and sisters in KZN, Yo. man. Shh. With the flooding, man. The Jeez. floods, man. The floods, dog. How many people Yo. the death toll now? Over 300? It's over 300. Oh, my word. Like, imagine. People, apart from... I mean, people lost lives. Hey, that's, bro. that's a crazy loss. But so many more even just don't have homes anymore. Like, and it's going to affect the economy as well. It heavily, definitely will. Heavily. It, like, your home, your home is gone. Like, your home. Like, your There's home. just so much destruction right now. Because, yeah, I mean, like, it's crazy. Bro, and it, came, it felt like it came out of nowhere. Nowhere. Yeah, I saw guys like, uh, like Mutama, you always say some wild Andile. stuff. Mm. Andile. Andile Mutama, like, hey, this is man-made. They can control the weather now. You know what I mean? No, he wasn't going to say be, all that shit without even... That. Like, who's that? Andile Mutama. He used to be EFF guy, and then he left the EFF... Uh, when he realized Julia's just gonna be there forever, <laughs> and he did BL, what? Black B? B uh, BLM. What is it? What is that? No, that's Black Lives Matter. That's not him. I know my brother is yeah, a huge fan of him. <laughs> yeah, something. Yeah, land, land first. Yeah. yeah. Andy Little Time, he was six, but he's okay now. He's strong now, he, you know? So he was been saying that. I'm like, come on, man, you know? Just. I mean, it's a natural disaster. A natural I hope disaster. it's a natural disaster, yeah. but it's so The sad. landslides that are just happening. Oh, it is so freaky when you just see all these images. That it's are crazy. Just, oh, I've been gosh. checking up on people in, in, in KZN. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. cool. Uh, one of our chillest, if you're a jack, stays there, checked up, did she good? Some mm-hmm. people are good, but... And you know there's definitely chillers affected. Of you course. Because mm-hmm. like a lot of people in this country are chillers, you know? And yeah. Our thoughts and prayers... I, you know, go out to, to, to Durban. I mean, 
to KZN and everybody affected, mm. man. It's so sad. What's happening with our boy in Tlantla Lux? I don't know what's going on with Tlantla Lux. Mm. They bring up some other things he other did three things. years ago. Remember but, I told but you. But it's what, it's what, you, it's what you predicted. Told you, you said mm. that. I told, yeah. Yeah, you did say. You did say. They're going to come, bro. Mm. And it's it's the price you got to pay. You know, you almost got to be a martyr, you know, mm. to be willing to go through it, anything, even the ultimate sacrifice for what you believe in, you know. And if he's decided and put himself in that position, it's going to come, bro. Like, I think there's more to come, you know? Bro, when I was in Swaziland, the guy was telling me that there were officers going around, like, because, you know, it's a dictatorship there. They yeah, yeah, of course, anything, of course. Right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, guys so, take 70% of all companies. Yay. Yeah. So when social media started becoming big, they would track, like, what people say about the king. So if you said anything bad, you go to jail. So literally, they that go around the city and say, can I see your phone? And they search your Facebook to see if you said anything bad about the, the, the king. <sighs> That is nuts. Crazy. Just for the king. Yeah, just for the king. That's nuts. So I'm saying now. Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call him Ghost Nati from now on. That's so, nuts, dog. So I'm saying now, if they start doing that in SA, right? Yeah. Regarding Tlanta Lux, and they walk, the cops walk in here now, and they say, are you with Tlanta Lux or not? If you are, you go to prison. What do you say? Ah, and it's in South Africa. We have rights here. Yeah, no, know. I'm just saying, <laughs> hypothetically. If, if that happens. If the same are with him. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> yeah. no, I'm, I'm not with him, man. Yeah, no, I'm not with him. I've got a toilet to raise, man. Like, you know, I, I'm not with him, man. Hi, guys. Hi, I'm high, boy. I'm not o- with Operation Dudula, what is that? Yeah, what I is it? Dudula. It's Dudula. Did you lie and say, I'm part of Dudula? <laughs> oh, you did lie, yeah. <laughs> did you lie? You lied. What? Loli, what's that? Loli, what's that? Yeah, yeah, I fuck with that. I like that, you know? All right, bro. Yo, come on, man. Deny, you, deny, deny. You know what I'm saying? Deny. You deny. I deny. I must. Yeah. <laughs> just, like all the girls who, just like all the girls who deny me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like, you. Why, hey, why hey, are you hey. saying I'm part of him? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. You? Are you, gonna say, are you with the Galax? Ah, uh, nah, bro. Oh, <laughs> hey, man. Oh. That's why I said, as a person, he... he has decided to push, you know, <coughs> and he's got his reasons and he's willing to face the heat. You know what I mean? I wouldn't just take collateral heat, you mm-hmm. know, just unless I, I advocated and I was with him in the front lines and then I'm I'm a coward now, pulling away. Yeah. I've never been like that. You yeah. know what I mean? I've always but don't get me wrong, we support neutral. what he's doing. I've always we been love neutral. him, neutral. We love what he's doing. I love anyone who, you know, dedicates this the as long as they know there's no violence and you know yeah. there's a clear thing, there's no element of I just violence and and, 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 and hate. Hmm. You know what I mean? If he's trying to say, "Hey man, it's a country," he'll say his own piece, bro. But he's, he's, <laughs> hey. he's out here saying because he's always said, even when he was here, saying that I want to work with the government, I want to work with the people in charge. Like just, I think it's like almost like saying, "Guide, let's guide, let's make this process work better." You know, instead of just naming it like as if it's some operation that is just out there to be destructive, you know. So it's like, why is the government also just like guide the process? Maybe just put whatever measures in place and make it a proper movement or an operation that is now covered by the law. Because I heard, remember what happened in Soweto when he was trying to fight the drug dealers or whatever? The mm-hmm. drug dealers, yes. Yeah, he found out that uh, the, 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 there's actually someone from parliament benefiting from the drugs. Ish. Bro. The drug thing is a different conversation altogether. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, if it gets, it's bigger. If it gets removed, Yo. the, the veil the of veil. secrecy, yeah. and we see, oh, exactly. we cut the grass, and we yes. see the snakes and the people who really benefit who at the benefits. top. Who Oh, Yo. the drugs. Crazy. Dog. So drugs now are, that's are why money, they, 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 they... Drugs are serious money. Because like. now he's taking money out of their pockets. So now they got to go in hard. They have to silence him. But I think eventually they'll just offer him like a position at ANC or something <clears> and give him a shitload of money. Oh, yeah, it happens sometimes. It happens like that. Oh, yeah. Speaking of, shout out to Gaten McKenzie. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He's our mayor of, yeah. of, of the Karoo district. The Karoo, some a district. district in the Karoo. Karoo. Yeah. And he is not taking a salary because mm. he's a business person. Yes. Mm. He is not going to use government money to pay bodyguards. Yeah. If he does, he'll pay for himself. Wow. Mm-hmm. He's not going to use a mayoral any, car. Yeah, any benefits. Any benefits. Nothing. He's just like forfeited the benefits mm-hmm. and he's like his number one 
uh, 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 problem is the the, the toilet situation, the mm. pit lat latrines or whatever the, the shit toilets people have. If he does not eradicate that problem within that district within his first hundred days, he's gonna resign. Mm. Wow. And you know what he? Because I, I heard that thing, and you know what he said? He said because he was in prison, so it was like taxpayers used to take care of me while I was in prison. So now I'm gonna take care of the people. They don't, you know, I'm not going to benefit out of. For my salary or anything, so this was his reasoning. Just that I've been taken care of Bruh, previously when I Gaten, was in prison. Man. And <sighs> the thing is, if Gaten achieves his goal of eradicating the problem mm. of toilets in that area within his first hundred days, just shy of four months, just over three months, mm -hmm. it means things can actually be fixed in this country they when there is political will. They just don't want it to yeah. be political will. Yeah, man. I want to sound like 702, but you know what I mean, man. You know what it is. You know Shout the vibes. Out to him. You know the vibes. Yeah, but if he does it, ah, then we've got to question everybody. What the fuck well, are they yeah. doing? We have to question everybody. But you know the answer to that, dog. But I, I want someone to prove it, it and make it to be like, oh, yeah, the answer I must learn. It's doable. They're not even doing sasa cards anymore. Didn't you see your friend in Hillbro there was doing them? How? Yeah. <laughs> How so? I think they home in a home affairs. Hey, Anishti. Anishti. Maybe MacGyver, you could have gone and done your passport there. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. My, my, my visa. Your visa. You saw that port in Vanna. They come to Panol. Now I am a real. Is that how you got your passport so quick? Eh? Mm -hmm. I've had a passport, man, since yeah. 2015. Cheers. I've been traveling, man. You yeah, know? Been on a cruise. <laughs> I've been traveling, you know? Mm. You haven't seen Tom Cruise. <laughs> At least I've been on a cruise. <laughs> One of us is cruise. <laughs> you know? Come on, bro. Be traveling, man. Hey, man, we're cruising out of here. Podcast and cheers. Finally, the show's over. You know what I mean? <laughs>